Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a record haul, but these are albums I've bought over the past few days and I've been really busy and hectic, so I didn't unbox them. But, nevertheless, we'll start with Kings, Hopes and Fears. This was, I think this was voted as the best album of the uh, 20, not 2010s, 2000s. And I mean, I understand why. Having listened, in, having listened to it, you know, it is absolutely brilliant. Um, Some are only we know, and everybody's changing. Are two really superb songs, as well as "Can't Stop Now," "This Is the Last Time," and "Bed Shaped." The closing track is, you know, a really brilliant album. And I got it for quite cheap as well. It was obviously it's. Maybe not as popular as it used to be. I think it's 14 years old now. Jesus Christ, I know. But, well, 2004 originally. So a lot older than that. But yeah, amazing. Um, uh, we have, they're all over there on the bed. You can probably see some of them. Bob Dylan's first album. Um, I, I love the sound. I love the folk sound found on this album, which he would later, not abandon completely, but, you know, his, his sound would change, and this album special, You're No Good, Talking New York, Gospel Plow, House of the House of the Rising Sun, he destroyed that track, I mean, did it really well, he, you know, just fucking aced it, that's what I'm trying to say, Song to Woody, Woody Cuthrow, who was a blues singer, which is amazing, and see that my grave is kept clean. Just a really great album. Definitely listen to that one if you haven't. And then we have some. This one really caught my eye. This is Prince and the Revolutions. It shouldn't be like that. It should be like that. The Prince and the Revolutions around the world in a day. Will it focus? No. But I like how there's like a flap, and then the vinyl opens like that, and it's really colourful and catchy. It's really cool. And the music is bloody brilliant, again. Again, you know, Prince and the Revolution. Uh, Purple Rain blew me away. One of the greatest albums I've ever heard, so I thought I had to pick up another one. And this one was really colourful, so I picked this one up. And again, it's brilliant. I don't have any qualms about how good this album is and how good Prince and the Revolution are. Um, the songs like America and Raspberry Beret and even the title track, Around the World in a Day, is fantastic. Really, really enjoyed this album. Definitely one you should pick up. Um, you may have seen recently well it came up today earlier today i did a video on leonard skinner their first album just again blew me out of the water it's one of my favorite albums <laughs> so of course i had to pick up second helping by leonard skinner now obviously it starts with sweet home alabama everyone loves that song you know it's one of the greatest rock songs of all time i need you is great don't ask me no questions. Working for the MCA. Working for the MCA is absolutely brilliant. But they're talking about, I think it's Judas who signed for the record label there with. And the ballad of Curtis Leo. It's fantastic. This album, again, they're a really great band. I'm going to listen to a lot more of their stuff. I think they've got about like 14 studio albums, which is the same as Pink Floyd. But my favorite american band of all the american bands i listen to these are in first with the doors in second um one more this one's a special one we have uh mike shinola's post-traumatic now this is completely different than anything else i've just shown you this is uh mike shinola was the lead guitar no no, it was the rhythm guitarist, sorry, and 
co-founder, co-lyricist for Linkin Park, who were very influential in my life. And obviously, sadly, Chester Bennington, God rest his soul, passed away. But this is Mike's solo project, which I think is absolutely brilliant. A place to start over again, watching as I fall. Nothing makes